Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Yes, yes. This is Faith Arise and we are back again and this is the reason the season yes. to celebrate mothers. Mm-hmm. And we thought what a way uh, of um celebrating mothers more by just learning a little bit more about uh, motherhood mm-hmm. and even the role of mothers in a family. Amen. We are still focusing on the family in Faith Arise in this season mm-hmm. and uh, Faith Arise for stronger families. Amen. Yes, my name is Raila Dem. And I'm Prudence Adem. Welcome to another episode of Faith Arise. Amen. 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 Why don't you start yes. with a short word of prayer? Let us pray. Amen. Father, we thank you for yet another opportunity to discuss your word. Lord, I pray for all those who are going to tune in. We pray also that you may be with us here on set. As we are here to learn your word, we pray that we may be ready to glean what we can, O Jehovah, and apply it in our lives. In the name of Jesus, we come against any distraction, and we pray that what we learn is going to stick with us. In the name of Jesus, we begin with you, and when we end with you, we will not forget to thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen and amen. amen. Yes, motherhood, motherhood. Who's a mother? <laughs> what a question. <laughs> yeah, but you know, mothers have a very special role. Mm-hmm. Just like any other. I know um, we have we have fathers, we have mothers, we have aunties, we have uncles. But a mother, a mother right from the word go with the story of Eve in the Garden of Eden. Mm-hmm. Yes, mothers have special places mm-hmm. in our hearts, in our lives, everywhere. And and I believe everybody out there has an idea about mothers and motherhood. But I want us to focus the godly perspective. Mm-hmm because we are living in the last days and some things are just becoming more and more watered down. So that, um, I don't want to say we no longer have mothers, that mm-hmm. we can really say mothers, because mm-hmm. they are there, there are women out there who are after God's heart mm-hmm. and after raising godly families. Mm-hmm. And I think that is what I want us to focus and that is where I want us to direct our minds to mm-hmm. while we talk about mothers. Because mothers are not just life givers, but they also have uh, the point direction, as you will see later in the Bible. They they discipline, they train. Mm-hmm. Uh, mothers are prayerful, mm-hmm. prayerful people. And as I'm listing these things, if you feel like you disagree, I'm talking about what mothers should be doing, mm-hmm. because many mothers don't. And the reason being, uh, uh, people are less and less uh, failing to focus on what God has spoken about in the Bible, mm. the instructions God has given us. And that's why the Word of God is very important. IBFN has always been about go back to the Word, read for yourself, mm. know what the Bible is saying, because the Bible talks about almost everything and anything Amen. in this in this world. Yes. And so mothers... Um, we could start with the qualities of a good woman mm-hmm. of, or a good mom. And, and as we say, um, anybody who has given birth mm-hmm. or anybody who has adopted kids, mm-hmm. anybody raising children is in a position of being a mother, mm-hmm. is in a state of being a mother. Let me say it like, that way. Mm-hmm. That is the, the state of being a mother. So if you have children you are taking care of, uh, biologically yours or adopt, adopted ones or by other means but mm. you may marry somebody who already has children you are a mother whether you have given birth or not mm. so long as you've married somebody who already has children you become automatically a mother and I believe God put it mm. in mothers just to be mothers they are able to to see so much they are able to give so much love yeah. personally I've been looking at the Holy Spirit and looking at mothers mm. and try and uh, looking and seeing a very close relationship. Mm. Yes, I feel the the way the Holy Spirit is being called a helpmeet, and a, a, a woman is being called a helpmeet for a man. I feel like the two, if you study so closely about the Holy Spirit, mm. you almost get 
what a mother should be. That's powerful. Yes, yes. It's a study that I'm looking at and I'm hoping one someday I'll be able to talk about it. Mm -hmm. And sometimes I like to speak about things I have read about and experienced, mm -hmm. not just what I have read about, but what I have read about and also been able to experience because experience is a good teacher. Mm -hmm. So when you also add knowledge from other people's experience that they have written down, it becomes more richer. Mm -hmm. So if you could read for us first Timothy chapter 5, we see Timothy addressing uh, widows. We are, we are, uh, the fact that widows are being included here, it means a woman is, um, a mother is a mother whether married or not married. Uh -huh. Because this is specifically uh, talking to widows, addressing issues about widows. Uh -huh. But again, they pass very well for, for motherhood. Uh -huh. For mothers, yes. Amen. Yes. First, First Timothy 5.10. In verse 10. Yes. Here we go. Mm. First Timothy chapter 5 and verse 10 says, mm -hmm. Well reported for good works. Mm -hmm. If she has brought up children, mm -hmm. if she has lodged strangers, mm -hmm. if she has washed the saints' feet, mm -hmm. if she has relieved the afflicted, mm -hmm. if she has diligently followed every good work. Wow. Wow. Amen. Wow. Can you hear that? Mm -hmm. This is this is this is a widow. I, I, they were enlisting widows who will, who will be who will be recognized as needing help because mm -hmm. these are women whose husbands are not there anymore. Mm -hmm. So she's on her own and she's also had had children. She's been a family person and now she's widowed. So the ones that they are looking and say this one qualifies to put be put in the list of the ones who need help in the church setting, mm -hmm. in the body of Christ, the qualities are listed. Mm -hmm. And some of these qualities listed are the ones expected, not, not when you become a widow, but before mm -hmm. you must have grown into these things. Okay. And the first one we see, she commands respect. Mm -hmm. She commands respect not just from her family members, but also from the community at large mm -hmm. and from the body of Christ. Mm -hmm. And this respect is because of her good works. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she has done well. Mm -hmm. She has done well to even strangers. Mm -hmm. she, that readiness to do good, you know, mm -hmm. not just to people she knows, but also to strangers. Now, she has also managed to raise children who are well behaved. Mm -hmm. And I know women who have been widowed from at a very early age they've been left with very small babies like three of them mm -hmm. and the, these kids have grown up to be very very you know respectable people in society mm -hmm. great kids who have made their mothers proud mm -hmm. so a woman is capable of raising children to be exactly like this and i think that is why timothy is saying that her children's behavior speak a lot mm -hmm. yeah if in if just in general they are well behaved i'm not talking about a, a case where let's say for example a, a mother has got 10 children she's raising and one turns out because sometimes these things happen although by prayer you can actually pray ab against this black sheep of the family that people have become used to talking about last week you we were talking about power of words mm. spoken words some people say every family has got a black sheep <laughs> I don't know where that came from, mm. but people say that, some parents say that, that is a lie of, of, of Satan. Mm. You do not have to have a black sheep of the family. Nobody, nobody should be labeled a black sheep because the words you speak, that is a power that has been released and it becomes active and it will be at work on the person who has been labeled. Because mm. you find people are looking at children in a family setting and decide this one is going to be the black sheep of the family. Mm. And imagine just like that. And because they've been given that title, mm. their life just starts becoming something else. And they end up being a pain, not just to themselves, but to the family mm. and to everybody else. It is just so uh, amazing the way things happen. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I think very much so the power that comes from the spoken word. We covered that last week, mm -hmm. so if you have no idea what you're talking about, please 
check that video it was a very powerful video <laughs> yes and um just quickly addressing what you're saying i agree mm-hmm. with that very much mm-hmm. what comes out of the mouth the parents more so the spoken word what mm-hmm. you say that statement in itself mm-hmm. it gives a certain life it gives a certain element that will come alive mm-hmm. just the same way god speaks and things comes into being out of nothing mm-hmm. is the same way our words have mm-hmm. that effect yeah. and so i want to tie that to being more encouraging to our kids if they're supposed to do homework and they ended up you know on the homework page and they just ended up with crayons all over the place when you have a stressed day you will be tempted to say what is this this is not your homework <laughs> all this all this drawing you're supposed to do your math but to the child they have this painters you know mm. a perspective goal and dream and i think every parent should be aware of that element because in that split second there is a power to you know to rebuke the child mm. or to correct the child with care and to even encourage them mm. and bring them up mm. like we'll have to print another math assignment yes but let's frame this you did a very good job yeah and that encouragement that that two seconds of not letting in the anger to take yeah. over yeah is a big big advantage mm. and also has its consequences mm. because for example I want to draw in a Ruth and Naomi. Mm-hmm. Naomi had a very hard beginning. Mm-hmm. They had moved to Moab from Judah and after living a life of nice 10 years, you know, the husband passes away, her children pass away, and one thing that is very uh, dominant mm-hmm. in Naomi's life mm-hmm. as she wants to move back home is the the death and sadness and depression that surrounds her mm. and what happens is she sends um, her daughters in law away mm. but Ruth is very adamant yes Ruth is very adamant if if she was able if Naomi wasn't in sync with the holy spirit because there's a verse um, there is a statement that Ruth says you know the way she cling on to Naomi Mm-hmm. I would not let her go where she sleeps that's where she's going to sleep mm-hmm. and Naomi despite the calamity that had surrounded her mm-hmm. in that point in time she was able to see that Ruth is still willing there was something those are stirring up mm-hmm. and instead of being a uh, swallowed up by her emotions and the yeah. grief and the yeah. death which she mm-hmm. had every right to of course she had every right to mm-hmm. she chose to still take in Ruth mentor her advise her and in the end we see that Ruth ended up being the great grandmother of King David how beauty how beautiful yeah. event is that yeah. you know so yeah. there's a lot that good that split second of you know are we doing life or death because the the tongue Mm-hmm. is very very dangerous yes and so with that quick decision that two minutes uh thought process mm-hmm. just before your words come out can have a very different outlook wow what a powerful example mm-hmm. we are looking at a woman who's stressed out so mm-hmm. just like many mothers out there mm-hmm. you have got your issues you're handling you're dealing with a boss that maybe does not understand you you're dealing with yeah. issues financial issues you're dealing with so much and yet you are still able to have strength to help somebody else mm. who might be have, having equally as much on their plate mm. it may not be your business you could do away without it but you still create room where mm. do women get this strength from mm. that is what being a mother is all mm. about mm. and let me tell you if we don't take care of these things in our families as children of god the work of god out there will not be done these are the small things that are in the foundation mm. of a strong family these are the the, the strong things the, the 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 relationship down here on earth i like looking at it like that because sometimes we feel like being a christian is being able to talk about revelation 
oh this this and this yes. you know they oh man this person that they, they just speak and the word of god is just you know mm. they've been broken down like wow you know we are left wowing mm -hmm. uh, at the revelation but we cannot ignore this mm. <laughs> we cannot ignore these yeah. you know, small things mm. the re personal relationships in the family mm. how healthy a family is in terms of relating to one another so that the word can have a place it sits mm -hmm. now the word can only sit where it's being recognized as in i'm practicing what i am reading mm -hmm. in the word if i'm not practicing if i'm a mother and i'm practicing i'm laying a good foundation for the children also mm -hmm. to be able to look and see i can actually walk on this platform that is being prepared here or it's been prepared already yeah. or you know depending on the stage of life mm. people are in it is very important to have healthy relationships mm. and today as we talk about mothers as we talk about uh, motherhood mm. in this season where uh, mothers are being celebrated all over the world it's very important to point out mm. that a good mother gets their qualities from what is written in the bible mm. you know giving birth does not qualify one you will be one yeah. but it is more than just giving birth mm. it is more than that because if it was ending at giving birth then a good part of people would not be mothers mm. but as we've seen earlier just by the fact that you have adopted kids you're already a mother so mm. it is not just giving birth but being a mother stretches more you've said uh, uh ruth mm. on naomi was able to look at ruth and the sister she listened to the sister and the sister had already made up her mind mm. how she would go back at first to, they were together then she quickly let go but uh, ruth kept insisting no your god will be my god mm. this is how she was looking at her you can learn a lot mm. by looking at a mother who is serving god amen you can learn a lot and you can find headway you can find direction mm. you can and mothers it is important for us to live mm. according to the word of god so that because we are direction pointers amen yeah mm. as we know very well children will not do what you say but they will do what you do if you if you are used to coming home late mm. when the children become of late of age they will come in home late and if you ask them then a fight will come up why are you expecting me to come you yourself you show up here at what time now mm. that i come at this time it's why is it an issue because they will do what you you tell them the other day i was listening to a man of god and he said uh, don't send your children to buy cigarettes and then you tell them let me see you smoking mm. you know? and you're sending them to go and buy the cigarette mm -hmm. but you're telling them let me see you smoking you will know mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah that is not how to be a, a, a good a good parent or a good example, example. that is not how it it is supposed to be done mm -hmm. according to the word of god we have seen uh women will naturally be respected because of their good acts mm. and their good acts include serving believers humbly mm -hmm. being good to strangers people you don't know but your good nature steps out fast mm -hmm. you know it comes out fast seeing the good in someone first before you see the bad side or before you look at them suspiciously and you close yourself from inviting them mm -hmm. or you know just having an open heart mm -hmm. you know that yeah. is the, the 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 qualities of a of of a of a yeah. good mother and training children as we will see later mm -hmm. and also mothers are peacemakers they are bridges between fathers and children mm. there should not be bridge be gaps mm. but should there be gaps because this is life mm. mothers should be the bridge between the children and fathers mm. you know in a case where there's no mother we can address it differently but if the mother is there that is part of their job mm. because sometimes children may do things mm -hmm. and 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 the father may not understand why is this child doing this mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. mothers have a way of understanding that you know because the children talk more mm. um, you know there's a way that 
you can step in between and be the bridge mm. yes I, i'm trying not to get an example mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm, I'm, i want you to understand <laughs> Like just by the speech. fact that you are in a family setting mm. there are things a mother will be able to talk to the child mm. and say you know what when you are addressing your dad this and this should mm-hmm. not come up yeah yeah and there's a way they can talk to the father and like you know this kid is mm-hmm. not like this other one yeah yes and you become a peacemaker yeah. it's very very important for mothers to know that <laughs> i can see your the baby cases yeah the baby cases where i remember or i see these cases where a kid a wood fish you want to go to you go to you go to mom and she's like no you go to dad yes oh, so, oh because dad said oh because mom said please <laughs> <laughs> <They're> smart kids. <laughs> yeah, the other day, mm. the other day, the other day I I I, I overheard. Mm. I overheard Jotha asking that if if he can go to the to the gym. Yeah. And it's during the week, the week has just begun actually. It was yesterday. If he can go to the gym mm. and, and 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 dad was like, "No, no, no, no. You don't start with gym on Monday. I think you need to look at the the work, spread your homework, know what you're doing." when because homework here is not given like back home mm-hmm. homework is given a yeah. different way you can organize yourself and say i have this for today this for tomorrow like mm-hmm. that organize your school work first so me i just had the conversation when i was passing and he was told he cannot go to the gym mm-hmm. so now dad's already gone to work and then this guy comes later to me when i'm in the kitchen i'm trying to you know finish up with the work mm. and he comes back and he's, he's come from school he's had his snack then he comes and says mom um i wanted to go to the gym <laughs> I, i looked at him i was like where are you where are you trying to be so smart <laughs> i thought you talked about that with dad <laughs> It was and there. Your kids will try to do something mm-hmm, mm-hmm. to have their way. Yeah, you know, your kids will yeah. try to do something to have their way. <laughs> yeah. But let me tell you in a setting where God is not involved. You know? Mm-hmm. Sometimes the kid will not even ask. Mm-hmm. They will just do stuff. In mm-hmm. fact, why don't we look at uh, why don't we look at Proverbs mm-hmm. and show you Proverbs chapter 29 mm-hmm. from verse 15. Let me show you 15 to 17. Okay. That's in Proverbs 29. Proverbs 29 from 15 verse 15 to 17. To 17. It says, yes. "The rod the rod and rebuke give mm-hmm. wisdom, but yes. a child left to himself brings shame to his mother. Mm-hmm. When the wicked are multiplied, mm-hmm. transgression increases, mm-hmm. but the righteous will see their fall. Mm-hmm. Correct your son and mm-hmm. he will give you rest. Mm-hmm. Yes, he will give you delight to your soul. Yes. I want okay. us to read from the New Living Translation. NLT. See, oh, you have NLT there? Yeah. I uh, already yes. had it here. I don't oh, okay. know if you can. But go to chapter 29. 29 from verse 15 tablet okay <laughs> proverbs 39 <laughs> so verse 15 it says to display that child produces wisdom yes. but a mother is disgraced mm-hmm. by an undisciplined child yes. when the wicked are in authority mm-hmm. sin flourishes mm-hmm. but the godly will live to see their downfall yes. discipline your children mm-hmm. and they will give you peace of mind yes. and will make your heart glad imagine amen Look. I was reading at I was reading that and I was wondering why is verse why is the middle verse talking about why do we, why is the the middle verse saying when the wicked are in authority mm. and sin flourishes in the middle of disciplining a child mm. now the bible says discipline a child pro, uh, to discipline a child produces wisdom but a mother is disgraced by an undisciplined child Amen. Yeah, I don't know why it doesn't say a father. But have you ever had it's very common in Africa when when a child has performed very well, everybody wants to know their father. Mm. But when a child has does done uh disgraceful things, mm-hmm. people say who is the mother of who this child mother? or something like that. I think it's a, it's a, I don't know if I'm wrong, you can correct <laughs> me in the comments. But there are times mm. Mm. He, over here we see that a mother is the one who will be disgraced mostly 
why because a mother spends a lot of time mm. with a child mm. don't let's not take this modern living mm-hmm. where mothers they get the babies and they leave them in the hands of caregivers or nannies mm-hmm. and they never spend time with them when they are when they are born between that age where they are between the age of babyhood and mm-hmm. and school mm-hmm. they, they 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 have nannies from there they are put in the hands of teachers in mm-hmm. school and 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 maybe in Sunday school and then there's between you the the mother and the child there's very little it, connection yeah there's little connection in mm-hmm. fact it's there maybe because sometimes breastfeeding mm-hmm. which again is being fought it's becoming a thing of the past a long time ago people would breastfeed in public but right now you never see that mm-hmm. i'm not saying people should breastfeed in public <laughs> but mm-hmm. it's just amazing that, that yeah. it's hard to see that mm-hmm. but mothers were mothers a child can be hungry anywhere anywhere mm-hmm. you could be traveling you could be or if you have a child who needs to be breastfed mm-hmm. i don't see the fact that you are outside you can't do it mm. but now people don't want to see it happening even they see mm. a breastfeeding mother and they 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 want to be against that and i don't see any sin in that yeah. but it's become it's being fought yeah. and i think what they don't know is when a child is breastfeeding there is that connection mm. between a mother and the child mm. because when the mother when the child is in the womb of a mother there is a connection taking place mm-hmm. that connection continues until my mother in law told me until a child is age 6 then they are ready to receive instruction from anybody else mm. apart from the mother many times the children will take instruction and will learn between age 0 to 6 mm. they will learn from the mother more effectively than when they are so i began to feel then if we take our children to school by the time they are 3 years mm. i i got it from her she's the one who told me and she didn't tell me don't take your children to school she just said children are ready to receive from outsiders or other people from when they are age 6 then i started thinking when we were growing up children would go to school at age 6 mm. then i said but now the system has changed children are being taken to baby school mm-hmm. from age th- as mm-hmm. early as 3 mm-hmm. and so when they are there in school it means other people change their diapers mm. you know those small personal yeah, things like daycare yeah. and then it continues yeah, so you don't small, have time i feel i feel this they should be very private yeah. personally i i tried my level best i used to say even when i bring in uh people to help me with mm. the children i would tell them your work is basic, basically to clean the house to mm. clean to wash clothes and i i took a big portion of the cooking and also washing the baby and feeding the baby mm. and changing the baby i up to and including when the babies were big mm. big enough to be washed by someone else i still mm-hmm. felt it's like you're getting too much inside too to the yes child, yeah. yeah and it's not It's just the way you feel like this is my part. Mm. This is my role. So I'm comfortable with the, the child not showering the whole day because I was not able to get the time to wash them. Mm. I wash them tomorrow other than say be washed by someone else because I don't know how it's being done what communication is happening at mm. that time. I just feel like no that's my space. Mm. Yeah, you won't be killed by that if you don't shower for a day. <laughs> Just let me do it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if we have people out there who are getting me but I part mm. of being a mother is that, that's what I feel. Mm. And I feel that that relationship should be guarded. It should be guarded mm. because when you're doing such things to a child, mm. you're also saying a prayer in your heart to God concerning that child. Mm. You know? That's when you are seeing things about that child. They look at you and you are able to wonder what is this child thinking? when they are looking at you mm. and at that moment you have a silent conversation mm-hmm. i really believe those conversations do happen mm-hmm. you may never grow up to say when i was small you said this and that mm. but i really believe you can impart mm. whatever you want to impart to a child mm. yeah you can impart wisdom you can impart 
any good qualities mm-hmm. you can speak into the life of that child mm. even when they don't understand what you're saying but mm. you're speaking to the spirit of that child mm. i really believe and i think that is what training a child as early as age zero age zero mm. yes okay. as early as that mm. so we have seen that verse 15 says disciplining a child if one child is undisciplined it's the mother who is disgraced mm. why because i feel i feel that they failed to do that part and now the child is turning like this mm. and so it is a di- disgrace mm. and the mother feels it most because the mother has got the opportunity the time, yeah. has got the opportunity to do that mm. and it's like they are graced to do it yeah. now in the middle of us 15 and 17 which is still talking about discipline mm. this verse 16 that says when the wicked are in authority mm. and i'm wondering what this wicked in authority mm. and i just thought wait you know what there are families where god is not recognized mm. god the the word of god does not mean a thing it's not known people are just living mm. and you know if you are parents you have the authority you are the leaders of that family mm. if you do not know the word of god and if you are not uh, following mm. the teachings of the lord to raise up a family according to god's way remember god started family in marriage and mm. so family business is god's business Amen. so if it's being done outside the settings of the bible yeah. there's a chance that wickedness can be there that's why it's being said when the wicked in, are in authority sin will flourish mm. where parents should be giving advice they are not in mm. fact they're the ones setting the worst examples for the children guess what we end up in sin being acceptable and seen being uh, practiced openly and uh, and and the bible says but only the godly mm. will live to see the downfall because that cannot continue mm. it, it is headed nowhere mm. you know have you ever heard of families where parents fought and killed each other or killed the children or there's mm. no end it's there's nothing left to live and celebrate mm. because that is wickedness in authority Mm. But when parents are following the word, mothers, the first people to teach love to the child, mm. and this is the love that God says, I am love. Mm. The first people to teach it is mothers. When I'm doing my role, when a mother out there is doing their role, mm. that is where you see there's hope. There's hope for this family. Mm-hmm. There's somewhere they are headed. They are going to grow into generations mm-hmm. that are going to be useful even in the hands of God. Mm-hmm. So mothers, we don't uh, say, I'm just a mother. There's nothing much. Mm-hmm. No, there is a lot. There's a lot at stake. There's a lot. Mm-hmm. There's a lot at stake. Mm-hmm. I agree very much so that mm-hmm. when these authorities, Christian authority in the world, mm-hmm. there is a balance. There is yes. the wholeness. Mm-hmm. There's the presence of God in the home. Yes. There is life. Mm-hmm. There's so, there's something to celebrate. That mm-hmm. joy mm-hmm. of God. Mm-hmm. And um, I wanted to tie it with uh, when uh, the the midwives mm-hmm. in Egypt, the okay. midwives in Egypt. Mm-hmm. Uh, so what happened before Moses was born? The the Pharaoh at that time, after mm-hmm. Joseph had died, mm-hmm. the Pharaoh at that time did not really understand the relationship yes. between the israelites of, that were staying in goshen mm. and the egyptians yes so he said that these guys are multiplying way too much and they might take over everything that we have mm. we should deal with them or we'll have a problem in the future yes. and what happened the pharaoh called two midwives mm. and asked them and told them two hebrew uh, midwives mm. and told them that when you see it's a boy when you are in the process of childbirth yeah. assisting the the mother and mm-hmm. you see it's a son uh deal away with it mm-hmm. and leave the daughter so that they can call the population but the midwives fear mm-hmm. god yes. feared god they respected life and they chose not to go on with pharaoh's decree mm-hmm. and what happened as you continue reading is israel continued to multiply mm-hmm. So what 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 is this we're talking about? When there are people who stand for the mm-hmm. word of God, when mothers stand, it doesn't it doesn't matter if 
if you, if the baby is adopted if you stand mm. in the word of god and in fact we should be doing a shout out shout out to all the <laughs> ladies mothers yes. who are taking care of adopted children mm-hmm. now you, there's yeah. a destiny in your hand first mm. of all you're blessed mm. you're blessed just by that virtue you're yes. blessed mm. and um being able to take in you know that extra life and you know cleaning feeding maturing growing yes. impacting mm. and you have all that and even mentors ladies who are mentors mm. there's so much that's going on as mm. long as you're impacting a younger life to what they need to be mm. as long as you're standing in the word when you're a pillar mm. you're able to impact the generations that is coming ahead mm. these midwives decided they're not going to do what the pharaoh is asking to do yeah. because the answer to a higher power is mm. that authority mm. the christian authority that mm. you're talking about mm. without that mm. this dive this, this devastation of course that is going to happen of yeah. course that's a wonderful idea the fear of the lord mm. in 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 mothers mm. imagine being told if it is a boy kill it imagine it and you're being told by pharaoh mm. Pharaoh was like a a a, a god. Mm. He was like a god. If he says I want people dead, mm. they die. Mm. I want people gone, they vanish completely. Mm-hmm. But these women who had the fear of God mm-hmm. were able to save lives. Mm. They were able to save lives. Many lives because they said no i think we fear god more than this mm. you know yeah. and it is only the strength of a mother mm. yeah mothers are life givers mm. until you give that life just taking it like that is is is, is very hard yeah. you can't just decide because mm. somebody has said kill and you kill mm. no 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 and should anybody has gone past that mm. uh, they've devalued life they need mm. to backtrack because that is not god's intention mm. life is sacred that mm. is not god's intention at all amen life yeah. is sacred yes. you can even see later that mm. the midwives were blessed yeah yeah later god yeah. it says god blessed the midwives mm. and provided household for them so mm. if you are out there you're taking care and you're standing in the gap for a younger life mm. you're blessed yes you're blessed awesome mm-hmm. and if i may raise it up mm-hmm. um I know this wasn't going to be mentioned but I kind of remembered mm. when you finished uh, high school mm. you you used to take care of children in a children's home oh. and one time you invited me to go to that place mm. and when I got there I was shocked at first I thought they were just children yeah. uh just normal you know orphaned kids mm. I didn't know they were uh, children who needed extra care they were uh, how do we say physically challenged yeah. mm-hmm. to yeah those, those kind of kids mm-hmm. and but what i will never forget was the joy when you stepped in like this the room so just lit up of these kids and they were so excited to see you and they were like they are trying to communicate is this your mom yeah, you know yeah. they, and i, I can see they are trying but i'm yeah. in shock because i was you didn't prepare me i just thought they were just yeah, kids who were just going to see kids yeah. yeah but again that connection yeah if such children can connect with someone like you just like that mm. i mean there's more to being a mm. mother mm. mothers have got a power you can raise a christian home mm. or you can destroy it mm. it is written there you can raise or you can destroy your own house mm. and as believers we need to be builders mm. we need to Amen. be builders Our mothers give instructions even though it is the according to proverbs chapter 1 just check out proverbs chapter 1 mm-hmm. verse 8 and 9 ah uh, nlt just try that version okay, okay. now i desire try to use nlt oh. i find it flowing yeah more <laughs> that is the one who does king james very well <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh Proverbs chapter 1 and verse 8 and 9. And verse 8 and 9. Mm-hmm. Oh, before I say this, I'm I'm just grateful for having worked there. Let me let me backtrack yes. a yes. little bit. I'm just grateful to have worked there. Um mm-hmm. I found myself uh 
how do I say, um, assigned. Mm. I found myself assigned and I wasn't alone. Mm. We had many other volunteers and all mm. that mm. and we experienced the, the same thing. Anytime, mm. you know, so and so volunteer would go and so and so volunteer would go and my group of friends would go then, you know, they would be so happy mm. and I'm just I'm just grateful. Yeah. That six months I remember to be honest, I remember thinking, you know, maybe you know, maybe there's not going to be too much to this uh, volunteering. I'll just go present myself, you know, do the assignments, you know, mm. just show up, do what you need to do and leave. Mm. But I'm very grateful I, that my, um, my high school did that for me because at the end of six months, a mm. lot had changed. Mm. A lot had changed. But how you see life. Exactly. How you see exactly. life, which is so important. Yeah. Lessons you cannot get mm -hmm. sitting in a classroom. Yeah. Lessons you can get only when you go out there and do something, mm -hmm. interact with situations yeah. like those ones. Mm -hmm. I thought that was very special mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. they change your heart in a, in a different way. Mm -hmm. You look at life in a different you You learn to appreciate everybody and even you become more grateful for your own life mm -hmm. because you're seeing that kind of life. Mm -hmm. And I think we should be able to find time and just to be. And that is what I think Timothy is saying, being good to strangers. Mm -hmm. Even people that you find it difficult to be good to, when you, be, when you become good to them, there's something good that is born out of that. Mm -hmm. And this is, this we are talking out there. Mm -hmm. But can you imagine if you concentrated this so that it is your practical life, mm -hmm. even within the family you are yeah. able to be? Yeah. To be like that mm -hmm. so that there's no me in the house and, and me you outside, outside. that true. conflict should not be there yeah. you should be the same same way you're out there that's how you are in the house mm -hmm. so that if people are like that life becomes easier mm -hmm. it is also easy to 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 believe someone mm -hmm. say um, my name is so and so and i'm gone born again i love the lord you're not going out there when you are with strangers and you're with your family members yeah. You're, and you're introducing yourself and people go like, oh, what did she say? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it should be the same. It should be the same. Mm. So it so it stops being difficult, you know. You, you Be believable, be respectful by mm. just being good from the word go. Mm. Not that you cannot feel bad. We talked about anger, yeah. but we talked about anger and the sun and, not going down. Yeah, And we also spoke about righteous anger which does not target the person but targets the act mm -hmm. with an aim to change it yeah to and to repent it. us yeah. so that things do not go the wrong way mm. yes <laughs> you are going to read proverbs yes. chapter one proverbs chapter verse eight one, and nine verse eight and nine yes it says my mm. son hear the instruction of your father mm -hmm. and do not forsake the law of your mother mm. for they will be a graceful ornament on your head yes. and chains about your neck wow amen amen do not just read again my son hear mm -hmm. the instruction of your father mm -hmm. and do not forsake the law of your mother for there yes. will be a graceful ornament on your head mm -hmm. and chains about your neck yeah amen so children also have a, a responsibility mm -hmm. not to ignore what they are being taught mm -hmm. now being a mother mm -hmm. you have that duty of giving instructions mm -hmm. as much as the child is being told listen and don't mm -hmm. being a parent you also have that second responsibility of ensuring mm -hmm. that whatever you're saying is communicated the right way mm -hmm. and is being received mm -hmm. you see so that you don't have things half done yeah say me already did my part if they don't want that's their own problem Mm -hmm. You know, and there's that temptation to say that mm -hmm. sometimes mm -hmm. because you have so much as a mother. You all you, you what you don't want is children who cannot listen to you. Mm -hmm. You already past that age. You know what they are doing is wrong, or the road they are walking is wrong, mm -hmm. and you you've said it, mm -hmm. but they can't hear or they don't want to follow. Mm -hmm. Chances of me have done my part. You know what? Just go. Whatever happens, you may not voice the words, mm -hmm. but even the thoughts and you keep quiet it's mm. like you've you've said that mm -hmm. you see so we have a second responsibility we are supposed to say it train it we spoke we, training we spoke about not just what you're saying but how you're saying it mm. and then we have the responsibility of ensuring that 
what we are saying is being received mm. well and so it is very important to be a good uh, parent who will train and communicate Amen. the right way mm. then let's go, as we finish let's look at uh, proverbs 22 verse 6 proverbs 22 8, verse, 6. verse 6 yes proverbs 22 verse, verse 6, 6. Yes. it says Mm. Train up a child in the way he should go, mm. and when he's old, he will not depart from it. Amen. Amen. When they are old, mm. they will not depart from it. Mm. Yes, training a child in the way they should grow. So we see, mm -hmm. we see that there's that, res that hope. God mm. is giving us a big hope. Just, just keep doing it. Mm. Keep doing it. Don't look at what's happening. Yeah. Just keep doing it. Keep doing it. The Bible has promised. Mm. When they grow, mm. they will not depart from it. So I want to encourage parents out there mm. who may be feeling like they have done their part, but the children are not rising up to the occasion. Mm. It's like a dead end. You're looking and you're not seeing any hope. Mm -hmm. But the Bible says, keep sowing. Mm. Keep sowing. Amen. Yes. Mm -hmm. I don't know if there's something. <laughs> when you, There's a way you look at me and I just see you want to say something. <laughs> I don't know if I'm reading right. No, you you you're correct. Yeah. Keep mm -hmm. keep sewing. Mm -hmm. Sometimes in life you think that it's it's the end. Like all your good efforts mm -hmm. are going for you know you've tried your level yes. best, but the other part is just not rising up mm -hmm. to the occasion. Mm -hmm. As a Christian, for you as as long as you know you've the intentions of your heart yes. are out there. Yes, then I'm sure God would vindicate your action. It says there's a verse in the bible where it says that god is not unjust to yes. forget mm. your labor of love Amen. so even in days where you feel it is difficult mm. just keep going and keep trusting yes. one day you might find it's you know that word you said and that um your positive outlook on the whole situation mm. is wearing down the how do I call it? Let's say, let's just call it like a dome. Mm. That the dome that is holding in the feelings and all that. Mm. You might just find as you continue, just cracking it mm. slowly and slowly. Yes. When somebody is, you know, maybe rude to you and you mm. just continue treating them with kindness mm. yeah. over and over yeah. and over, yeah. one day they will crack. Yeah. One day they'll crack and mm. when they do, mm. now you'll be able to, now this is what we're talking exactly. about. And you're able, because they'll see yeah. your actions and say, mm. wow, so mm. and so like this, so and so like this. Mm. And I was able to see one, two, three of what they were actually talking about. Mm. You see, and at the end, God is glorified. Amen. So, Amen. Yeah. <laughs> Let's target to have these kind of things in mm. our families. Mm -hmm. Let's target. They are not perfect families. But let me tell you, if you keep doing what is right, mm. if we keep obeying the word of God, yeah. If we just slowly by slowly, we may not see the effect immediately, mm -hmm. but believe you me, it's coming. It's mm -hmm. coming. Somebody said to crack a big stone mm -hmm. and somebody has been hitting it and hitting it until now they are counting like thousands of hits, you know. The day it will crack, mm -hmm. we don't say that last hit is the one that cracked the, the, the stone. Mm -hmm. It's the very first one mm -hmm. when you started. Mm -hmm. And so we cannot expect a result like this mm -hmm. with the one hit. Yeah. But that one and two and three and four, mm -hmm. until it will crack, mm -hmm. the whole the act whole to process. that point, yeah. the process, yeah. And therefore we are encouraged. Amen. Yes, so mothers as we celebrate them, mm -hmm. and we really do, because I think being a mother is the best gift from God. Mm. It is the best gift from God. Being able to have uh, people you are, you are, you are, you are, you are training mm. and they are growing under your care mm. and you are watching over them and you are helping them. Mm. Because children begin, imagine from the word go, they are not able to speak. Mm -hmm. And you, you talk that baby language to them until you are able to start communicating. Mm -hmm. You are teaching them how to crawl and then you are teaching them how to walk. Mm. Everything about the, what they will need to do in life, you are teaching them. You are teach, you're there. You're doing. Mm. When you are doing it the right way, you are building a, 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 a strong society. Amen. The, the rot we see mm. is somebody neglecting their God-given responsibilities. Mm. 
when we see young women and young men out there having no clue of the consequences that will follow the actions they are involved in we see, instead of just looking at them and saying what has this world become Mm. First of all, remember there's somebody who is neglecting their job. Mm. They did not do their job and they are not thinking they are doing their job. But now the worst thing is when those children become now the parents. Mm. You can imagine. Mm. When they become parents, the children who are being born have now no clue completely. Mm. You see. Yeah. So it's important to do your part properly mm. mm -hmm. because one day that child will become a parent mm. and they will be doing their part mm -hmm. so if you don't do their part and they become parents because they will mm -hmm. they will not know what to do and then things will just go spiraling down once mm. yeah but is that is not the portion of the children of God mm -hmm. we are called as children of God to do what is right Amen. to choose to see the goodness in our children as they grow up don't listen to neighbors mm -hmm. coming to your house to tell you how bad your children are. Mm. Don't listen to that. You are, spend more time with your children. Decide to find out for yourself. Don't hear because there are people who will come and tell you lies about your own children. Yeah. I don't know with, with, what the benefit is all about. But the, if you take up those words and decide to act before you know what exactly is happening, mm -hmm. you will ruin the very thing mm. that you're trying to protect mm. it can cause children not trusting you if for for example the person telling you is lying to you so as a parent guard that space mm. let the relationship between you and your children be guarded mm. so that when someone brings any information from outside it is weighed first mm. it is weighed and then you say okay it is weighed first then when you say it's okay, do something about it. Mm. Yeah. And whatever you do, make sure it is done properly. It is changing the bad behavior, not attacking the person, mm. the child themselves. But it is attacking the bad seed mm. and removing it mm -hmm. so that they continue to work well. Mm. A lot can be done if we approach things the Bible way. Mm. Instead of... Uh, being the I, now that we have social media we really see a lot mm -hmm. i sometimes you see a, a parent punishing a big grown-up child by the way the child is being beaten and somebody else is filming on camera you know mm -hmm. filming on camera we, we, we there was a case a few months ago where uh, i saw i don't know i saw but this happened in kenya where a man watched his wife mm -hmm. drink poison they quarreled and and he was just lying on the chair and she drank the poison she threatened to do it and she drank it but she didn't even move when he saw she's becoming helpless he sent the child go and bring milk you give your you give your mother and the child is trying to give the and you know what the saddest part the the, the mother died the mother died so social media is exposing things like those and those kind of things God, the idea of family in mm. God's hand is a really good, great gift if it is taken up like that. Mm. And as you grow, remember you're training and guarding your children, your family in the middle of things like this. Mm -hmm. in, in the middle of things like, you know, like that was very painful. Mm. And there are thousands of stories That's that can be story. told. Yeah. Thousands of stories that can be told of things going wrong. The beginning is just one person not doing their part. Mm. And if we can decide, all of us, I'm going to do my part. I'm going to do my part. Mm. Then we will see change. Mm. And what a better place to start than in the Christian family. Mm. Let's be different. Let's represent Christ. Mm. Mothers who believe in the word of God, arise. Mm. You are shining lights in the middle of this world that is lost. Mm. Mothers who know the world, the word of God, arise mm. and shine mm. so that you are like the lamp that was placed on the table. Mm. The Bible says nobody lights a lamp and puts it under a table. It's meant to be on top mm. so that it will light so that others can see. Mm -hmm. So if you do that, 
you are doing your part. Amen. 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 Yeah. Wow. I don't know if you have any wrapping up remarks. No, oh, other than we hope that you enjoyed your mother's yes. thing. Yes. Just want to like single mothers, mm. you know. Oh yes. Busy mothers who are mm. constantly working three jobs, you yes. know. Mm. Our love goes out to you mm. and continue staying strong and trusting the Lord. Yes. Amen. We are helpers, we are life givers, mm. we are loved and you can give love. Mm. Yes, and God is love. Mm -hmm. So, we thank God for you, Gazi, and also for the time that you have taken to listen to us. Yes. We hope that you are edified. Uh, I, I was not looking at... I saw someone new today by the name... Was it Lydia Wanjiko? Okay, I have lost my page. And I, Yes. Uh, we, will, we will reply in the comments as you watch those who have watched now and those who are watching later mm -hmm. make sure that you leave whatever you want to leave in the comments a question a remark mm -hmm. it will edify also other people who will be watching in the future mm -hmm. yes check out our youtube channel as well yes. we will upload this video uh, a little later so that you are able to to follow and watch mm -hmm. share it when you can if you can and god bless you so much as mm -hmm. you do so mm -hmm. so let us finish with a quick word of prayer mm -hmm. yeah unless you have something to say from someone i don't know if you can see <laughs> oh yes me. lydia wanjiro mm. ah joan joan is watching us from florida yes. thank god i'm glad to see that you're there mm. god bless you so much god bless you. yeah let us pray yes Father, we thank you for this opportunity you've given us once again in Faith Arise. We pray that as we speak about things that will make our family stronger, mm -hmm. even for stronger churches, Lord, we will give us the hearts to obey and to do these things. Help us to determine that we are going to live according to this that we are learning, mm -hmm. because that is the only way we will get help. Give us the strength to do it. We pray against the work of the enemy mm. over families out there that are trying their best, but the enemy keeps pulling them down. Mm. I pray that you shield them with your love. Right. We cover them with the blood of Jesus mm. and cause them to see victory in the mighty name mm. of Jesus. Meet them at the point of their needs, O oh Lord, you. because your word is true and because your word is alive. I pray that all people out there will find time to read your word because in it there is life in it there is guidance in it there is victory and in it there is provision and health and wealth i pray in jesus name that they will get to know you in jesus name we pray amen and amen see you next tuesday bye